Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Forrest or Dave here. Welcome to an optimization and FPS boost kind of guide for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which just got released today. There's a lot of hype behind this game, but unfortunately, out of the box, it doesn't run too well. Uh, you've got a lot of players coming into a single server. You've got a, a big open world map that's generating, and at the moment, it's not perfectly optimized. And the developers are saying we will get it optimized very, very soon. We're aiming for that asap um i know it's not i know that's not a good kind of excuse really i think games should come working but i actually am kind of used to games not working perfectly these days so without further ado we're going to first of all jump into the in-game settings uh, namely the graphic settings so you're going to jump in the game on the main menu click the little cog up here and you're going to open up the graphics panel um so first things first, you're going to want to run the game at full screen. I know some people do like running uh, games at full screen windowed. I think running games at full screen windowed for kind of single player games is fine. But if you're if you're wanting to get the best experience and the, kind of reduce the input lag and get your FPS as high as possible, you want to be running the game full screen. I know full screen windowed allows you to alt tab really quickly, but you shouldn't be alt tabbing anyway. You should be focusing on the game and trying to win. So make sure this is on full screen. If you want to play it windowed for some or windowed for some reason, then I guess go for it. But go go for full screen. It's the best best op, uh, best option. Resolution. I play at max resolution, which is my 1920 by 1080 because I have a 1080p monitor. If you've got a higher res monitor, then you could try pumping the game out at high res monitor but I probably wouldn't go above uh, 1080p at the moment because the game really kind of struggles, I, I'd guess. A high, I mean, I don't actually have proof behind that, but I'd assume pumping out higher res is going to be quite tough. Um, if, after we go through all these settings, there's still things wrong, you could drop this down to maybe 1680 by 1050 um, or lower, it's like 1600 by 900, I think. Uh, we'll kind of drop it down to one of these if you really need to, if you're running on a, on a, on a kind of medium-grade system. I've got a GTX 1070, so I run the game fairly decently, um, but... I turn some settings down just to get the mo most FPS possible because it is a competitive game. Um, on the quality section, this is where all the kind of beefiness is of this um, of this part. So quality, um, it will automatically change to custom when you start changing all of these. So you don't need to set this here. Uh, screen scale, leave it at 100. Um, some people will tell you to put all of these at very low. If you need to, then do it. Go through, put all of these at very low. But I want to go through and explain why I prefer some not being at very low and why I like others being just at the lowest. So anti-aliasing is, if you guys don't know what anti-aliasing is, it's essentially um, when you look at objects in game, uh, like if you look at this board up here, I don't know if you can see it in the recording, but there's like these jagged edges. Um, the higher the anti-aliasing, the more smooth edges look. Um, I quite like having a bit of anti-aliasing. I can't stand looking at a game with no anti-aliasing on or like really low anti-aliasing. Um, the anti-aliasing in this game is FXAA, which um, is a very performance efficient version of um, anti-aliasing. It's not using things like SMAA or um, CSAA or TSSAA um, or any of those or TXA. That I know you might it might just sound like a load of jargon at the moment, but anti-aliasing on medium I like to run because it doesn't cause too much performance issues some people have said that it blurs enemy movement but i'd honestly i just can't stand playing the game with an idea it looks horrid so i do put this on medium i don't think there's any real reason to go too much higher medium seems to work well for me post processing is not really needed just put that on low i'm not going to explain too much more shadows is another kind of preference thing but shadows have always been something in games which will chug your fps if you put it too high so um, i'm trialing out very low um, between very low and medium and seeing kind of how it looks and how i feel about it um but you should get away with running shadows very low i think texture here's something very similar to anti editing i can't stand playing games with low textures even though i know that this is an fps hog um running higher resolution textures is going to use more fps but honestly like i don't feel like i need higher ultra but once again medium for me i i just don't like the look of the horrid textures if you don't have uh good like textures on at least medium but put it on very low if you need to effects and foliage i'll just say both very low um foliage especially having foliage on very low is good because the higher res your foliage is the harder it will be to see people laying in grass and in bushes and stuff so the lower you have this it'll actually give you a competitive advantage which is good and turn off motion blur because you should never be using motion blur in any game just ever in my opinion it looks bad Okay, so that's all the in-game settings. What we're going to do next is we're going to jump out of the game and we're going to look at some settings that you can go deeper into, into your uh, kind of files and stuff to get that extra couple of frames to hopefully get you some wins. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is changing the or adding launch parameters to the game so that when we launch the game, the game has some extra resources to use. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click the game in your Steam library. You're going to go properties. You're going to go to set launch options and then you'll be greeted this box and it'll say these options are for advanced users only. But if you know what you're doing, it's absolutely fine. So the first thing we're going to type in is in capital letters, you're going to do a dash. Then you're going to go use all available cores. So what this is going to do is ensure that the game is using all of your cores in your CPU. Um, so because I know a lot of games just won't. A lot of games will just be like, oh, we'll just use two and we'll leave the other two and we'll lose FPS for it, but it's fine. Nah, you want to be using all available cores. So this is just going to make sure your CPU is being properly utilized. And the second thing you're going to do, so you can do a space and then you're going to do dash and you're going to type malloc, that's M-A-L-L-O-C, equals system. Now what this is, a malloc is a memory allocator. So it's essentially um, something in the game which decides how are we going to allocate memory. So if you don't have this set to malloc equals system, I'm pretty sure what happens is the game and the software um, decides how the memory is to be used. Um, which isn't very good because the game isn't very optimized. By doing malloc equals system, you take your OS, your operating system, so my Windows, um, and Windows will do the memory allocating. It's much better than the game. So once you've done that, just press OK, and that'll be those settings saved. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the NVIDIA settings. So if you don't have an NVIDIA card, unfortunately, this step won't work for you. Um, so you have to look for something to do with AMD. But this will help you if you are playing um, with an NVIDIA card. Okay, so on your desktop, right click and then go to NVIDIA Control Panel. So this is, once again, this only will work, obviously, if you have an NVIDIA card. I've had people on previous my videos saying, oh, it's like with my OBS tutorial saying, oh, the NVIDIA, the NVENC isn't there. It's like, we don't have an NVIDIA card. That's why it's not there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into manage 3D settings, which allows us to set some uh, important stuff for some games. You're going to go to program settings. And this does sometimes take a little bit to load. And you're going to find... I think I've already got the game selected here, but you want to go to add. Um, if you can look down and you can find um, TSL game, um, I know that doesn't that isn't Black Battlegrounds, but you can see here it's the the little logos player and Battlegrounds. If it's here, great, select it. If it's not here, you just need to go to browse. Now this might take a little bit to actually find. Um, but you want to go to browse. You want to find your Steam folder wherever it is. So it might be in your program files in Steam. The Steam apps, common um, PUBG, which is player on those battlegrounds. Uh, TSL game. Um, is it content or is it binaries? I think it might be binaries. Yeah. So you go binaries. Win64, and then TSL Game. And you're going to open that. And there you go. The game is selected. Let me just check it's the same one I've got here. Yep, it is. So I'm just checking. Okay, so you select that. So now the game is selected, and now you can set the settings that NVIDIA will push forward to make the game run better. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Power Management Mode, and going to change it from optimal power to prefer max performance. And this is actually a universal thing. You can do this for loads of different games. Click apply, wait for it to do its thing, wait for it to load, and then there we go, that's saved. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go into some files in the um, the game. So the last thing we're going to do is go into some game files, and this is a bit of an experimental thing, so it might not work for everyone, but it's worth to try out. So I'll show you how to get to that. Okay, so you're going to come to your local disk, so your C drive. You're going to go to users, then your name, and then if you don't have the app data folder showing here, then just click folder options, go to view, and then make sure show hidden files and folders is on. Open this up. You're going to go to local, then TSL game, I think it should be. Past all this crap. TSL game, saved, config, Windows no editor. And then you've got all these different files. And you're going to open up um, game setting, game user settings.ini. And then in here, 
you are looking for this area, which is the scalability groups. You're going to set SG resolution quality to 70. And you're going to set SG view distance quality to 2. Okay? Just do that. See if they see if this works for you. If for some reason it doesn't work, then you can throw it out the window and you can set it back. So you could back this up and then just set it back to how it was. And then to make sure the game doesn't change this, um, right-click it, go to Properties, and then go to Read Only. So this will mean that the, this can't be written over at any point. Um, so if you need to do any settings back to this, make sure you go back in here and set this to off and then back on or which, whichever you need. So guys, that is the end of the tutorial today. Hopefully this tutorial will give you some extra frames when playing Power Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I will say it's a super fun game and everyone should be getting in on it because it is really fun. The optimization just isn't quite there yet, but hopefully these tips will help you out a bit. Thank you very much. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.